Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials. In today's video, I am going to show you how I make prize-winning cornbread muffins. Stay tuned. Now, it wasn't me who won the prizes for these muffins. I'll have to admit that. But I did get the recipe third hand from somebody who did win prizes for this recipe. What happened was my son went to a National Scout Jamboree many, many years ago. And when he came back, he was telling me about how he had had these marvelous cornbread muffins. And he talked to the man, it was one of the scout leaders, who had made these cornbread muffins. And this scout leader told him what this recipe was and said that he had won many national championships as far as cornbread muffins baked outside in a campfire on one of their cast iron muffin tins and everything like that. But he had won several national contests for these cornbread muffins. So they definitely are prize winning muffins. So my son told me what this recipe was and I thought it was a great idea. So I started using it when I made my own cornbread muffins. And I used it and I adapted it and I made a few changes to it on my own. And I think they're actually even better this way. And I'm going to let you decide whether you think they're really good or not. But I've been making these cornbread muffins ever since I heard this from my son. And everybody just seems to love them. And I hope you do too. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, here we are getting ready to make the cornbread muffins. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. First, I'm going to start with this Jiffy cornbread mix. Now you can use any cornbread mix you want. This one is 8.5 ounces. And in the instructions on the side of the box, it says to use one box of mix, one egg, and a third cup of milk. Let's go ahead and get that started right now. Notice how dark that yolk is. This is from a pasture-fed chicken. If you get factory raised chickens and eggs, the yolk won't be nearly that bright of an orange. On the package, the instructions say the mix will be lumpy. And yes, that's what we want. And it also says in order to have the muffins crown up nicely, you need to let it sit for three or four minutes. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Let me set this aside. And I'm going to show you the secret that I learned from the scout camp counselor who won all the prizes. He said he would melt a whole stick of butter and put it in his mix. And then he would put it in his cast iron muffin tin and bake it however you bake something over a campfire, probably in something else. And that was what won him all the prizes. Well, I tried that and it tasted good, but the muffins were so crumbly that they just fell apart in your hands and you know part of the joy of a corn muffin is you need to cut it in half and put more butter on it so we just got to work it that way now I remembered what my mom said now my mom she grew up in North Carolina she was born in 1925 so I would say she became aware of everything in the 30s and the, the decade of the 30s was her age and they had someone come in their house and do some cooking. Her name was Martha. And Martha used to make the best cornbread muffins, according to my mom. And the way she would do it is she would take the muffin tin and she would put some bacon grease in each one of the cups and then put the cornbread in that and she would bake them. And that would be what made their cornbread muffins so good. Well, I started thinking about that, and I started putting it together with this scout camp leader's directions of putting a whole stick of butter in there, and my observation that the whole stick of butter made the mix too crumbly. Basically, it made it too short. And I said, what if I put the butter in the muffin cups instead? And I tried that, and that was my first secret. The second one's coming in a second. Let me do that now. Here we have some melted butter, as you can see, 
and I'm going to put about one, I don't know what that is, a tablespoon, about a tablespoon, in each muffin cup. Stir it up because I want all the milk solids to be well distributed. Okay. that the way I keep it from dribbling is I put the spoon over the muffin cup in the pan and then I remove the pan so if it dribbles, where does it dribble? Right in the muffin cup. Now what I used to do would be to distribute all of this butter into the muffin cup and I would have some left over and when I had some left over, I would distribute it among the muffin cups. Well, it looks like I got a little bit too much this time. Maybe I got too big of a spoon. And I'm just going to have to redistribute here. And we're going to see what the difference is between these two muffins that didn't get quite as much butter and those that did. But if I wound up with some butter left over, I would just put it right there in the muffin mix. And that would take care of what the scalp camp leader said about putting the butter right in the mix. But now, here's my other secret. And I learned this from somebody else, and I'm sorry, I just don't remember who. The other secret is this. Add a couple of tablespoons of sugar to your mix. So, put in a spoonful of sugar and a spoonful of sugar. Now you don't want enough sugar to make it sweet. You just want it enough to give it that little extra something. You know like when you add salt to something and you really can't taste the salt, but it just perks up the flavor. This perks up the flavor of the mix. Now notice the texture of this mix now that we have let it sit for a little bit. Okay. Just so you know, the instructions also say to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and the oven has just finished preheating. You might have heard it beep a second ago. And now we're going to put about one spoon dollop in each muffin cup. It looks like it's really not going to be enough muffin, and we'd rather start with too little, and that way if we have some left over, we can distribute it to those muffin cups that look like they don't have enough. But I have found that when you do it right, and I'm hoping I'm doing it right this time, when you distribute this muffin mix among 12 muffin cups, it will wind up being just the right amount of muffin mix for 12 muffins. Now notice as I put this mix into the muffin cups, the butter that's in the cups pools up around the edges, and this is exactly what we want because you know what happens? First of all, in the oven, the butter begins to get really hot and it fries the dough. So it gives it a nice little crispy texture on the outside of each muffin. And then the butter itself, it soaks into the muffin which fulfills the requirement of that scout master saying put a whole stick of butter into the mix. And that's the two elements to my secret to making these muffins as an enhancement on the prize winning muffins. Now notice what I did here. I put some muffin mix into each one of the 12 cups and it looks about even and there's very little left over. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. Which one of those do you think looks a little less than the other? Maybe a little bit in here. Maybe a little bit in here. Yeah, put a little bit in here. A little bit in here. It really doesn't matter. But it's kind of fun to do that. And if you have kids helping you with this, they can be an excellent help on deciding which one of the muffin cups needs a little bit more muffin mix? Where did that other spoon go? 
Here we go. I know, it's tempting to use your finger to scrape it out. And then, of course, you want to lick your finger, but that's not entirely sanitary. So I'm going to do it the right way this time. And, and basically, that's all there is to it. Next phase, let's put them in the oven. Now, I always try to turn on the light inside the oven. Whenever the oven's on, that just reminds me that the oven's on. So if I'm walking by somewhere else and I forgot to turn the oven off, then I'll look. I see the light on, light's on. Let's go ahead and turn the oven off, and I'll know to turn it off. The directions say to bake it for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to bake it for 15 minutes and then check it. Set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Counting down. I love it. Well, looks like it's time to check the biscuits. Muffins. I'd say they could use about another two to three minutes. But it did say 15 to 20, and we've only gone 15. Okay, it's time to take out the muffins. And there we have them. Ooh, don't they look good? Oven's off, oven light is off, and don't they look good? Whew. Now I know it's going to be tempting to eat these while they're hot. And yes, they're very good while they're hot. But you know something? They're even better if you let them cool down enough so that they don't fall apart into crumbs when you cut them in half. And then when you cut them in half, you can put more butter on them. And I got to tell you, that's going to make them the best you have ever had. Now I get these out of the muffin container, the muffin tin, with a pair of forks. Now you can see all the butter is gone from inside that little muffin cup. And you know where it went, right? Right here into the muffin. So the fact that we did not put that whole stick of butter directly into the muffin mix is really not a player because that whole stick of butter is in the muffins. It just didn't go in the raw mix. It went in the it went in the container of the muffin tin so that it could first fry up the muffin and second be absorbed right into the muffin itself. Now notice how nice and crispy that looks. It's going to taste even better. Now, the muffin mix container says that you are to liberally grease your muffin tin. I think putting butter right in each one of the bins of this muffin tin serves well for greasing the muffin tin. So we didn't have to put any extra in there. That's pretty much all there is to it as far as making these prize winning muffins. Back when I ate cornbread muffins regularly, I would make these muffins often for our family dinners, and they were always a hit. Even today, my kids and grandkids are lining up to sample the results of the demonstration for this video. Go figure. Okay, these are my grandkids, and they are going to try these cornbread muffins. Introduce yourself, kids. Hi, I'm Timothy. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm Katie, and this is Isaac. Okay, you guys ready? Uh, here we go. Ready, ready, go! Go, Isaac. Mm. Okay, what do you think? Honest opinion. Mm. <laughs> Timothy says, yum, and two thumbs up, and Anna is two thumbs up. Oh, look at that, and Katie and Isaac are all two thumbs up. Would you eat more of these? 
Sure yeah, I think I would too. These are yum, yum. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video. Anyway, you need to try these muffins. Let us know down in the comment section below whether you think these are the best you've ever had, or if you've had better ones, tell us what the better ones were and why they were better. I'd like to know that, truly. Also, if you thought this was a great video, give us that thumbs up and let the YouTube robots know that they need to recommend this video to other viewers as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then the bell icon to be notified whenever we post another great tutorial right here on David's Tutorials. Take care, everybody.